Temptation is to protect us from the elements, from the sun. Genesis 25, you start reading Genesis 25, that's when you see the so-called white man, he came to be. Most high, that was the last nation, the, the, the 17th nation right there. He brought forth in the face of the, uh, of the earth. And he made them red and hairy. All right? So we didn't make it an issue. Look into it. I believe it was some uh, German, uh, uh, what do you call it, doctor that made it an issue. You know? How, why did they make it an issue? Because they know that's a, that's a deficiency right there. When you look at genetics, you see that's a deficiency right there. You go back into the scriptures, you see that our people were dark-skinned. When the Most High cursed them with leprosy, they would turn, their melon would fade away. That's why you see people nowadays walking around. They be black, but you see them, like right here, for example. Here's a black, a so-called black man. But you see him, he got no pigmentation. That's leprosy, that's a clean leper. That individual, the same thing. Now that individual, he was born like that. He is from the seed of Esau. Jacob, and you go so far, look at that sister right there. She was born dark-skinned. But, through the course of, the course of time, and whatever Mosai has in, you know, in store for her, she lost her pigmentation. Or well, she's losing her pigmentation. This brother, the same thing. So color does matter. Color does matter for the fact that some one nation, the so-called white men, made it an issue. Now we gotta come through. And how did they make it an issue if it didn't matter? You know, we address this all the time. How come this image is not Chinese? How come this image is not Arabian? How come this image is not Korean or African? All throughout the world, you see this since the iconoclasty, since the days of the Renaissance period, you see that this is the image that the so-called white men, you know, according to the scriptures, the nation of Esau, Edom, made it an issue and made it a point to bring forth for what? So they can set themselves above like gods. He says in the scriptures, it says that he was, he regards himself to be above, above God. That's why you see him, you know, doing, uh, you know, doing all these expedition, all these missions to the moon, deep in the ocean, all throughout the planets, always trying to search and search, but they don't teach our people who we are. They don't, they don't admit that this image right here is of a homosexual pedophile named Caesar Borgia. That's right. But you know what's funny? You go to Hollywood and you see the Europeans, not from here, come from Europe, they look at you like, what? Now, that's nothing new. Huh. Our people know that. Oh, what's up? You the Hebrew Israelites? Cool. You know? I was out in Peru with brother out there, and a, and a European woman came through. I had a Solomon shirt. She's like, oh, that's a nice shirt. And now I'm out here like, yeah, you know what? A dark-skinned individual. She's like, yeah, what else is new? She looked at me like I was being foolish, you know, but that's the thing. In the East, they know the truth. Out here in this Western country, in this Western uh, uh, hemisphere, is where we've been indoctrinated with th things like these. You know, the image of Christ. They say they don't matter, that Christ is all colors. That's foolish. Most High is not the author of Confucius. How High is going to make his son of all colors? Huh. And then when you look in the scriptures, he says that his son was only sent for one manner of people, one nation. All right, so that's what we're doing here today. Anybody has questions, disagreements, feel free. We out here to discuss, to dialogue, and mainly to edify our people, the so-called blacks and the so-called Latinos of indigenous descent. Everybody else, like we always say, you can keep walking, you know, unless you wanna admit that this is the truth or you have something that you know you wanna share. But the main point right here is to edify our people, show them where they're going astray, where they're erring, when you look around, one of the main things we always bring out, what day is it today, anybody? Hermana, hermana con la sombría. Anybody wanna listen, right? Anybody out here with any sense, you go to, you go to uh, church or you study the Bible, does anybody know what day it is today, according to the scriptures? Nobody? Well, that's why we're here, we edify it. Today is the Holy Sabbath of the Most High. The day of rest, starting sundown Friday to sundown tonight, is a day that we're supposed to set apart. And we cannot buy, we cannot cook, we cannot sell. <clears throat> Before I keep talking, we're going to go to the scriptures to show you that. We're going to go to the book of Exodus. Pretty sure everybody's kind of aware of what, what Exodus chapter 20 holds, right? You know what that, what that chapter holds, brother? Yeah. Oh, well, that's the Ten Commandments. You know, when you talk about the Ten Commandments, you can find it in the book of Exodus 20. And we're going to read one of the commandments. 